is worthy. And adore the, the Lamb of God, God victorious. Our ah, God Almighty, mm. Lord, He purchased my. Righteousness. My righteousness is he. Exalt, 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 exalt. Exalt the name of Jesus. He is worthy. For he alone. My redemption, my righteousness is he. Exalt the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Worthy. One for the Holy Ghost. Ah, oh, God Almighty. Amen! For he, ah, oh, Lord. This one is for you, God. Is worthy oh, yes, Lord. I feel the anointing. To worship your presence, God. We acknowledge your presence in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Ah, oh, yes, God. You are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy, you are worthy. And that is why we come before you this morning because we are nothing before you. Simply clay. Many individuals started out this morning but they are now dead on ice waiting for burial. We are nothing but clay. Within two days we are stink without life. And so God we humble ourselves in your presence right now and help us to be but man in your sight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. From the dust was I taken, from the dust will I return. How powerful, how great is your name. And Father we just want to bless you even right now while we are alive because the only reason why we are on the face of the earth is only because of your grace and mercy. And it's not because you are partial. It's because you are a God of justice. Yes. And so, Father, we are granted this morning so that we can come in your presence. And just as though you have spoken to my wife, God, we continue from last week. Oh, last week, no? Amen. The wisdom of God. We continue it because what we want to do is to live in obedient unto your will. And so, Father, we continue even right now in your will, in your way, because this is your platform. This have nothing to do with us. And so we humble ourselves in your presence, God. Glorify yourself. Magnify your name. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Nothing but clay. Mm -mm. All that we are. Ah, God Almighty. Good morning to you, Prophet Lindsay, and your family. Amen. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Nazareth. So before I go any further, I want to apologize for Wednesday night. First thing I want you to understand is that I do spiritual counseling right on the clock. And Wednesday night, just as I was about to, um, I was preparing to come on the live, I got a call. And when I got the call, an uh, individual call, and uh, you know me, me not, me not avoid call, you may not, me not reject no call. 
So when I take the call, everything will come at the person come at me. Oh my God, listen to me. Every a whole pit of hell. <laughs> but the good thing about it is that the person wanted deliverance. Yes. So that's why I could not. Amen. That's why I could not. You couldn't leave. No, I couldn't turn away the person. State in which they were in, yes, you couldn't leave. I could. I couldn't leave. You couldn't leave them and so them. when I spent the time with the person, what I realized now is that listen carefully. When you're standing in the gap for someone, it have to be that you're doing it because of the love that you have for God, mm -hmm. because the spirit being you ever hear they say all those tumble on by you. <laughs> Well, I see your thing. In this case, holos and zinc fence come down for me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So, it was a ghetto spirit. <laughs> uh, that was just meant to be fun. Praise the Lord. But, oh, Sandra Blake, good morning to you. Praise the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ of, of Nazareth. Nazareth. So, what I want you to understand is very simple. Some spirit, one thing I need you to understand is that some spirits, amen, if you understand the type of um, the spirit them that assigned to the individual. So that individual is today alive. Praise the Lord. But I am happy to say the individual is not just alive, but the individual family is alive. Amen. Alive and well. that is what makes the difference. So when we talk to the individual, the individual says, you know, say, it's just last week when pastor tell me, say, in can't understand how many dead. Mm -mm. So when you come and ask me that now, something must have gone on. Amen. But the pastor tell her, ask her the question, but he didn't show her how to shut it down. Mm -hmm. So I had to spend some time. Amen. So that is not the big part of it now. The big part of it is when, when me finish talk to the lady now. Amen. Yes, I, that is how far I will go. It was a female. When I finished talk to her, the reason why I use say, a female is because you have some bigot. <laughs> oh, be, no, don't laugh at that serious. No, because um, Brother Lindsay said Garrison Spirit. It's a Garrison Spirit, Brother Lindsay. <laughs> it's a ghetto spirit. So, what happened now is a hood spirit. <laughs> so, so what happened now is that in that this, the, the reason why I say I, it was a hood spirit is because the, the attitude of it was a, was a bad me up, a gangster thing. So, what happened now is that spirits are transferable. And just like when you arrest, you arrest a spirit. You cannot walk up and down with the prisoner. You need to go. Amen. So the spirit was so strong because the spirit thought that it had it authority. Today is her birthday. Who said that? Good morning, man of God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Who Nazareth. Said Today is my birthday as well. Praise. Amen. Somebody named Red Oh, re oh, Mr. Al. <laughs> Happy birthday. Yeah, Mr. C, Mr. Al. Happy yeah. birthday. So what happened now, what happened now is that when blessing the spirit, when the spirit, blessing, yes. when the spirit come now, I had yes. to spend some time to detox because if I had come with that spirit on the life, then I would not clear everybody else. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like spirit transfer. Yes. So if I hadn't stopped it there, then coming on the life Wednesday, so this is a serious thing I want you to understand. Mm -hmm. When you're deal for those of you who go go work at daytime, or just the fact that you go on the road, yes. whenever you come home, please just like oh when you come home you wash your hand. Please to take some time to wash your spirit life because whatsoever you have pulled from the the activity, it will wreck your marriage. I repeat again, if you're involved in a relationship, marriage, anything. Once you come in, so with a marriage with your husband, wife, or with your children, it will wreck your relationship. So just when you come in, you know, they encourage you to wash your hands. So just in case wash you... Wash your hands, change your exactly. the same thing you do. When the same thing you do spiritually. Mm -hmm. So when you come from work, you come from work with all the demons that was assigned at the workplace and everything. So when you come, before you say, hi baby, hi, please to pray off that spirit first. Because if you don't, you will be bringing into your private space that spirit and it can cause problem. And that's why I mean you one more time. For he alone. That, listen to me. We're talking from experience. And when we learn, and when we learn, we come back up to talk. Amen. And when we learn, listen to me. On this platform, we tell you what we, we went, what we went through. Listen to me. Somebody said they need to hear that. Yes. 
and we go you see everything can you get you come home and you have war with the person and mm. you have war with your, your beautiful husband where you left this morning your beautiful yes. wife and you come home like you can't stand you the spirit <laughs> where you pick up a road you come back in with amen but because you did not um pray off that yes. spirit first yes. amen yes. the antagonizing boss <laughs> <laughs> you try, yeah. amen. If I hear this, so you think people have uh, fat and fry me, <laughs> amen. That's what really happens. So, we yeah. need to learn how to pray at all times. So, for that is why I'm, I wasn't on Wednesday night. So, please forgive me. Then I said I was coming on Friday night, but I said no, I was coming on Wednesday night. And I tell so, me now, me all just keep. So, <laughs> bets me come on as you as stated Wednesday. Because I don't want to be confused in the crowd. Yes. So I come on Wednesday. But for Wednesday night, it was that I had to deal with a particular situation. All right? Mm -hmm. So, to all, good morning. Uh, Reds! <laughs> Mr. Al. Yes, happy <laughs> Big up yourself, again. Mr. Al. Happy and birthday to you. He's also wishing you happy birthday. And from your brother on Facebook, yes, Amen, Prophet so Lindsay. Lindsay he's he's saying good morning and he's yeah, also saying, saying happy, happy birthday. birthday. And then I saw someone else wishing you a birthday. Someone, yes. Oh, I'm Sister Karen Duncan. Yes, Car yes, um, yes. I'm Sister that. Mm -hmm. I'm Sister, I'm biological Sister that. Yeah, we pray yeah. that the blessings of Almighty God yes, yes, will yes. overshadow you. The both of you, amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Of you, you see, she have the right to and celebrate your birthday to in her You will have <laughs> many, many more, amen. Birthdays in the mighty name of Jesus in Christ, the mighty of name of Jesus and just Christ like when she was a little child. Amen. You remember the two of you used to celebrate on the birthday together? Yes, man. I hope you're seeing our fear like a cake today. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Amen. Just making a little fun. But the good thing about it is that, um, see, the, thank you, Karen Dunkley. So yes. the good thing about it is that we're here as a family. Amen. And the family who pray together, stay together. together. And so what we share with you is our personal lifestyle. Amen. I pray that you will take out selective because there are some... And it's not just our personal lifestyle. What we share is what When I said personal Spirit lifestyle, you know, it's personal testimony. downloaded in our spirits mm -hmm. because sometimes, you know, the things that we say sometimes is not really from us but what the Holy Spirit has downloaded in us because we are just vessels being used of God and it's not about us yes but it's about glorifying the name of the king of kings and the lord of lords yeah. it's about setting at liberty those who have been held bound by demons and devils it's about giving persons a chance a chance yeah, to, to fight, fight back. back yes it's about giving leveling the, the playing field information that you need yes to live a victorious and living, level the playing field and to level the playing field can you imagine every day satan a beat you up you yes. have the chance now for lick him back yes <laughs> that's what, that's why we are amen here, amen you know, lick him back hey one day you know when i go to about one day you know with their school you know somebody beat me up because go and said lick him back <laughs> and that's all me did one year <laughs> so now you have the chance to lick back the devil that's all mm. cloth him back so it is that it's <laughs> Jamaican talk <laughs> and in layman's terms yes <laughs> to equip you yes to be in a position to clap him back to fight back <laughs> and to fight if no but you are clap back but the clap now never do nothing so we are giving you the information yes yes that will allow you to be the winner exactly victoriously to be victorious yes, yes. because you are clapping about the clap now going away yeah. the lick just among self it just yes. barely are touching but what we are giving you or what the holy spirit is giving you is the information that you need amen to be victorious amen so that your life can have meaning yes and that when you go to pray you don't see yourself praying aimlessly you will get answers to your prayers and that's the whole aim of coming here on a sunday morning so that we can be obedient to the holy spirit and at the same time, we are all blessed because me blessed too. The same way you are blessed. Amen? Amen. And the beautiful thing about it, you see, me, me I try my best, you know. When my wife had that, me I try my best for not talk. 
it odd. No, serious, it odd. No, honest to God. And that is what I love about this family. Because this family said, listen to me, even though it might sound away, somebody said, listen to me, give her some time to talk. Likewise, give him some time yeah, to, talk. to talk. So we are working on it, guys. Please, mm -hmm. we are working on it. But you know, when you're full of zeal, yeah, the hardest spirit that. to control is your own <laughs> spirit. We're working on it, see me? Yes. Zip. All right, this morning we're going to continue our series on godly wisdom. And this morning I'll be reading from Proverbs chapter 2. At the last time we dealt with wisdom, we did Proverbs 1, chapter 1. Mm -hmm. so, so this morning the Lord tells me to continue. Proverbs is a book of wisdom. Of wisdom. Yes. I think the book of Proverbs was written by Solomon, no? Solomon. Yes, yes. So this is a book, people. I would recommend you that you see this Proverbs book here. I would recommend that you read. I the book would of recommend Proverbs. that you read. Dan some of the book of Paul. Yes, man. Go right back. Yes, because man. Because you see this. No, see honestly wisdom, speaking, I would rather you read the book of Proverbs than some of the book yes, of Paul. Yes. Yes. So some would, of the book of Paul seems discriminating oh, towards then, woman. Yes. So Amen. let us go. We're gonna we're gonna start off this morning. Yes. Uh, with you praying for us. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we come in your presence this morning to give you honor, praise, and glory. It's all about you. This is all about you. I repeat again, this is all about you. The fact that we are alive this morning, the fact that we are breathing, the fact that we were able to go to the, um, the restroom and all our faculties was intact, was using, we are not string up to any machine. Father, for this we give you praise yes. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We appreciate your life that you have lent us this morning because this life is yours. The alarm didn't wake us up because if it was the alarm who wake us up, then we could have carried the alarm to the morgue. So I know the alarm wake us. And you chose to wake us this morning. And so, Father, we give you all the glory. We are grateful in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And because of this, we just want to come back and tell you thanks in our worship and our adoration this morning in the mighty name, name of Jesus, of Jesus Christ, Christ of Nazareth. Uh, Proverbs chapter 2. Amen. A Proverbs a day keep the spiritual <laughs> and physical doctor away. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Amen. So true. We used to say that when we were like, boy, a prayer a day keep the devil away. <laughs> it's a Proverbs a day. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 Uh, let's go on Amen. now. Let's draw, um, let's draw a start. Um, Proverbs chapter 2, and it says from verse 1 My son, if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply thine heart to understanding yea if thou criest after knowledge and liftest up thy voice for understanding if thou seekest her as silver and searchest for her as for hid treasures then shalt thou understand the fear of the lord and find the knowledge of god for the Lord giveth wisdom out of his mouth, and cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He keepeth the path of judgment and preserveth the way of the saints. Then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity yea every good path verse 10 when wisdom entereth into thine heart and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul discretion shall preserve thee understanding shall keep thee to deliver thee from the way of the evil man from the path that speaketh forward things who love the path of uprightness, upright, uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness who rejoice to do evil and delight in the forwardness of the wicked whose ways are crooked and they're forward in their path to deliver thee, to deliver thee from the strange woman even from the stranger that flattereth 
with her words. La la la. Which forsaketh the guide of her youth and forgetteth the covenant of her God. For her house inclineth unto death and her path unto the dead. Verse 19. None that go unto her return again. Neither take they hold of the paths of life. Verse 20. That thou makest, that thou mayest walk in the way of good men and keep the paths of the righteous. For the upright shall dwell in the land and the perfect shall remain in it. Final verse, verse 22. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth and the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Blessed be the name, the of, name our God. of Jehovah God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Yes, man of God. Praise the Lord. Take it from there, sir. <laughs> amen, amen, you know what, amen. You know what I amen, love amen, about this? Amen. You know what I love about yeah. this? It speaks about wisdom, knowledge, godly wisdom, yes. godly knowledge, Uzziah, godly Uzziah, understanding. Uzziah now, I can understand why Solomon would have gone to the Lord and said, God, I want your godly wisdom. I yes. want your wisdom. Uzziah 4, Uzziah 4, verse 6 said, My people perish because, because of lack they of do not have my knowledge. Yes. It's not that knowledge is not into the world. Ah, you know? they have knowledge. Hello, mankind oh. knowledge is called PhD. And that is why and everybody wants to be doctorate. And oh. masters. And, and masters. And, so that is not that Mark knowledge you know. is not in the world. Mark you. We do not have, because we have some myself. But all I'm simply saying the emphasis is not about the doctorate PhD. that you have or the PhD. It's though listen carefully. This is how best I can put it. If you have a new car and have no gas in it, the car going nowhere. Okay. In other words, if you have a in it, no matter how much accurate you have behind okay. your name, if you do not have the wisdom of God, you're listen to me your accolade no, have, just no, like no, just like a person who have all these accolades but not have no ambition yes yeah. not going anywhere not going so anywhere. you equip yourself and then you go park with so all, you these have things. all of these worldly yes accolades uh, and but at the same time the wisdom of god the knowledge of lacking. god the power of almighty god manifesting in your life is non-existent exactly you're like a fool so none can be compared can to, be the to the word of god and that is god. why the bible tell you in um first corinthians chapter one it tell you say listen to me god take the wisdom of this world yes why because that's what challenged him in the book of exodus chapter seven verse one um seven seven one and um, going down to all the way down to eleven when the wise men and the sorcerer of egypt challenged god they were actually biblical scholars, you know. Yes. But you know what I love about this, this scripture? Very religious too. Yes. You know what I love about this scripture? Yes. It says, it starts out by saying, my son, which is my children, if thou wilt receive my words, which is the rules and the regulations. The principle. The principles. In other words, Jamaican talk. The commandments. No, 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 no. The rules. Ja no, no, no. Listen, Jamaican, Jamaican talk. talk. The right. road code. <laughs> Brother Lindsay understand me. Yo, you can't be a girl and know the road code. Why do you have to bring in that? <laughs> All right. Let us go back. Amen. In this class, in you can't be words, boring. Let's do In other words, yes. what we're saying, the words of Almighty God contained in the Holy Bible Principles. are rules yes. and regulations are guidelines by which we are to live yeah, simple these rules and regulations is what will allow us either to be it either give us life or it would lead us onto the path of death and this is what proverbs chapter one chapter two sorry verse one is saying my son if hold on hold on hold, hold on hold on words, hold on hold on hold on listen what i'm saying my son yeah 
I claim him, I claim with to be his children. Ah, that in itself speaks speak volume. volume. My son. My son. Now, what you need to understand is very simple. Man represent woman. Woman represent man. Yes. Because the Bible said you so two shall case, be one. So in this case, there's no gender. So he said, my son. Okay, fine. My son. If thou will receive my words. And or, I or, in... or, forget about the sons. For those male mm. bigots. Oh, Lord. For those male bigots. Forget about the son. My children. I use that word. If thou will receive my words. Amen. And hide my commandments with thee, so that thou incline thine ear unto wisdom and apply and, 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 and apply thine heart to understanding. David said, "My thy words have I hid in my heart that I will not sin against thee." Amen. And the reason why I said what I said, listen what. Psalms 82 is in line with what I'm saying. Wait, it says. Psalms 82, verse 6. Hear what Psalms 82, verse 6 said. Yes. Listen carefully. I read. <laughs> it said, I have said, You are all gods, and you are all my children. Uh huh. That's why he said, My, my children, son. My, my son. If you will receive my words, my words. And hide my commandments with thee. No wonder Meaning David said. Listen, 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 listen what David said. Thy word have I, I studied. Yes. And then when I find out that they have lied, them in I heart. hide them in my heart. Why? Because it's a treasure. Yes. It is a treasure. That's what he said. It, it is, is a, a treasure. treasure. Now look at it this way. Can you imagine my beautiful dunududus? Listen carefully. Jesus said, Will I take my bread? Because she's my bread. Will I take my bread? Give to the dog. No. no. Listen to me. Every every man knows that once you have a good woman inside. Her. Listen to me. Not even. Me no one about to look on her. The only person I share her with is God. Not even our children more share her with. The honest truth. Can't I be truth? So that original is. I'm just trying to show you how important it is. When you have somebody close to you that, listen carefully, this is what I want you to understand. This relationship is a like a ripple clip of God relationship. And just as though you don't want anybody to come between you and your wife. Yes. No. Nope. You see where I'm heading now? Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. It's the same with your relationship with Almighty Exactly. God. No Nobody demons should be coming between you like and your man. And you and God. Yes. That is why we are called husband and wife. Why you think God said you are my wife? That's what God said. God said the church is my bride. The bride of Christ. That's why he said, listen to me, for this cause, you forsake everybody else. In other words, for this cause, you forsake demons and devil and cling only to me. That's what it means. Everything makes sense now when you understand. If you notice, he because he gave us the principle. Yes. No make no relative. So in other words, no make no spirit being come between me and you. Yes. We're talking about Genesis chapter 2 verse 24. He said, listen to me. No spirit being not supposed to come between me and you. Mm -hmm. And if you notice even in verse 3. But it says, Yea, if thou criest after knowledge and liftest up thine no, voice, no, I don't for want you to jump so far, please. You're gonna, no, no, no. I want you to say, apply, though? apply understanding to your heart. Yeah, because the rest of them tie into it. Okay, That's fine. Sorry, saying. sorry. Yes, the others tie into it because even with verse 3, it yes. says, Yea, if thou criest after knowledge. Yes. And lift us up thine voice. That is why the Bible said, listen what the Bible said. Seek, seek first. not only that, if you mm -hmm. seek the Lord diligently, yes. him have to reveal himself. Him have to reveal himself. Listen himself. carefully. Yes. Once you seek God diligently, him have to reveal himself. Mm -hmm. Why? Because if him not reveal himself and you go astray, you can say, listen to me, wasn't I seeking you? Yes. So why weren't you making yourself available mm -hmm. to me? So even the Lord is saying here, the same way you seek after money. Yes. The same amount of emphasis you put into getting wealth. Anything that is valuable to you, yes. you seek after it's it. It's the same way you to seek after God. It's the same God. thing. You that seek after that God. That is why he said what? Seek ye first. The kingdom of heaven. And his righteousness. And, his righteousness. and then everything where you are run down. Everything where me are run down yes. will be added unto me. So in other words, whatever decisions that you are going to put me take, first. put God first. Whatever whatever 
situation or whatever Put plans first. that you have. Put me first. Ensure that you go to God with the plans first. Hear what I say. Then you can go forward. Somebody asks, can you be anointed and not chosen? Yes. The choice that you make is what makes you chosen. You can be anointed, but because of the choice that you make, you're not chosen. So the choice that you make, make you chosen. Because all of us were born with a purpose on the face of this earth. Yes. So and we are anointed. We're anointed. But is when you start to live in repentance. Re rebellion. And rebellion. And when you start listen carefully. Mm -hmm. That is why we we, 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 we um let us go to um Samuel. In Samuel it said, remember you know we're talking about wisdom. So in Samuel we have Saul of the wisdom of the Lord. Yes. But he was not living in obedience. Yes. To the will of God. So Saul Amen. was anointed. Of course he was anointed. He was a, but he Just chose, like any one of us. We can be anointed. Do his own thing. But when we choose to walk in the spirit of rebellion yes, against yes, God. Yeah. Then you can yes, be. Have a problem right exactly. Here, so. Because the Bible tells us. Who are they. But those who do the will of my father. So um, Jesus was there. And, and the disciple come and said. Your mother out there. Jesus said listen to me. Mary is not my mother. Who is my mother? Who is my relative? Are those who do the will of my father? Yes. He was referring to God himself. Yes. Amen. So okay, so let's continue. Yes. So let's um verse so verse three and verse four. Verse five no would basically give you the reason yes. why you would want to hide or seek after godly wisdom. The same way you seek after the things of this world. Because it said then Thou shalt understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. Can you imagine you're walking down the road and you don't know where you're going? Okay. You need a road map. You need a road map. The Bible is the road the map. The Bible is the road map. Amen. Yes. Now, first thing you need to understand, you're going somewhere. The first thing I would expect you to do is to seek direction. Yes. You know, just listen to me. Look for a road sign. Find somebody who know the community. And I would ask, uh, um, ref, ref, uh, recommend that you find an elderly person ask information because of the way the country is running now. Yes. You ask some individual. And if preferably somebody who have a... a, a you, you, know, yeah. you know the funny thing about it? But to get information, you need yes. to travel. You know how I view things? You know, because I think I may have shared it on more than one occasion on this platform wherein I allow, I put the Holy Spirit in charge of my life from day one. And because of that, even before I even leave out to go on the road, even in the mornings, the first thing I try to do is to pray and to put him in control and to to say to him lord you know because you know the future you know what is ahead of me because i am not omnipresent i can't see further than my nose you know so why I i'm have laughing to be dependent you know you know why i'm laughing on you to guide me you know why i'm laughing yes it's because as soon as you say that the first thing coming out of my gps system <laughs> yeah my thing we didn't call it gps system in the vehicle you say take me to work and the GPS system navigate your way. That's what the Holy Ghost does. He navigates your with, way. But the thing with the GPS system, yes, you have to plug in your. You still not get. You still not get it. You still not get it. What did you say there. early on? I go. You to, plug in. I plug in to the Holy Spirit. Exactly, and you put the navigation, the navigating system in control. Yes. Exactly. So I say to the Holy. So I was just using the, the say, physical. The thing and the is, you know, I would not compare a GPS system to the Holy Spirit. Why? Why? Because the GPS system, I've seen people say the GPS system can then go up put them on one, one way road or it lead them in a one part where they wonder where it is this. The principle it's, is the what princi I was talking about. It's it, not the GP GPS. GPS okay. is my so man. Other words, We're talking about the principle. The navigation. The navigation. That's what I was talking fine. about. I guess you're looking at the, you're okay. just looking at and, and Okay, surface. fine. Well, if you listen yes. to me, we know that God can make mistakes, so we're not even going to go there. So. <laughs> we're not even going to put that in the yeah. same paragraph. Right. So, the point I'm trying to make is that we have to seek the Lord. So that He can navigate the world. So that He can safely navigate, the world. navigate okay, our path. Okay, and the same relates 
to seeking the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding in our and and this can be applied to our everyday life. Everything that we do, even in our place of work, sometimes you have to exercise godly wisdom because there are times where you have to skip your mouth, as a Jamaican term, shut your mouth. Sometimes you have to give up your right. And, and say, allow the Holy Spirit and then to you defend say, you. And then you say, God, do you listen to me? We can't can manage this. Because make, listen to me, can't manage this. Exactly. Make can, you ever reach your say? Uh, listen you. to me, you deal with it, you know? Yes. You, yes Holy Ghost, you yes. deal with it. Deal with this, God, yes. can't manage this. Yes. Make, yes. Listen to me. They look at the little tolerance to me. They look at tolerance to me. They count this morning. Me the power road already. And mm. they look at tolerance. Me tell them, me say, you see, they look at tolerance to me. They care out this morning. Mm. He used up already. Mm hmm. So here you are, you only go stay with this. Yes, I can't manage this. Because yes. I'm going to lose my grip. Me, listen to me, I'm going to say some stuff when yes, I'm not say. Me, so deal with this. When I have to tell the Holy Spirit, Lord, yes. help me to speak yeah. when I'm to, be, to speak. Because we know our self chipping. Help me to be. <laughs> yes! Help <laughs> self chipping. Because if self chipping. Jamaican national anthem. Because yes, me going to get a lovely fight. Jamaica, listen Baby, to me. March to the door. Jamaica lovely anthem will be coming to you because exactly. Jamaica lovely anthem is telling yes. you breast milk is still yes. the best in a different way. Yes, because you do have some persons who are yes. on assignment, sure. who have turned over themselves to Satan. And just to make your life that, a living hell. They come and they make your life a living hell. Just a second. One of the worst thing you can have when you want to sleep, ninging around your ears is a mosquito. <laughs> and when you find out that the mosquito does poop and come back, <laughs> and the worst part of it, you don't have a fun. <laughs> Lord God, that's annoying. Mm -hmm. That's how the devil operates. That's how best I can mm -hmm. put it. And listen to me. The, devil is annoying yes. the agents of the devil are annoying and they are everywhere yes. e listen to me yes. they are everywhere your workplace yes they are everywhere amen and that is why we speak yes. like this and we because need God what the lord knowledge. is saying you know in verse 7 is that when you seek his wisdom knowledge and understanding there's a part of verse and I said he is a buckler to them that walk uprightly so in yeah. other words if you choose to walk uprightly in the presence of Almighty God if you choose to seek after godly wisdom and understanding it will guide you this in is a what, path yeah, you see, you see, of holiness you see, what and I look. righteousness because guess what happened yes. somebody can come and say oh baby I love you you know you know me I talk me I talk to the single people you know. eh you see this chisel out. Oi! And you look at him, you're about to run water like, whoa! And he come and baby. Are you making confession? No. Okay, 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 <laughs> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Darling. And then you sit down and you look back. And you think. And you say, well. Will I it want doesn't to, work will it. Will I mm -hmm. want to it sacrifice? Work it. it not worth it. Mm -mm. My soul. It my salvation. It not worth it. My relationship it not worth with it. Almighty God. For maybe five minutes. Five seconds if you last so long. Or five seconds. <laughs> Is it worth it? Amen. Allowing my spirit yes. to be ravished. Amen. In other words, you're in a one financial institution. And you see the billions in front of you. Yes, hon. And deep waters. <laughs> yes, I know it's deep waters. Amen. You see the billions in a your hand. Mm. And enough fear. And enough fear. Leave it alone. And the enemy come to you. And the enemy tell and me, said your to you greed say, come to you. Yes, man. No, I'm going to plug the idea up here. So, you know, you can borrow $20 still, you know. And Amen. you can pay it back when you're done. Nobody now know. That is you being set up right there, so. Amen. And that's where knowledge, godly knowledge, godly wisdom, for me, help you for me, the right decisions. Come in. You know, so there's this young lady who was all over social media. She was killed by a, 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 a gentleman who was, she was in a relationship with. The mother said she was in her bed. She was in her bed. And she got the phone call. Me coming for you. If I believe without a shadow of a doubt, if that child was under the guidance 
of the Holy Spirit. And living in obedience. And living in obedience. Okay, so you need she to point out that. Been alive you today. need to point out that, that because we are not sure if God wasn't talking to her. Because one thing I can tell you, you know. Amen. Everyone of is built with an alarm system of course, inside of it. Of course. When we are about to do something and it not feel right. Of course. That is the Holy Spirit. But saying, the question saying, is, are bing, we bing, living bing, obedience? Bing, bing. Are you do not do that? Don't, and it's the Holy Spirit is saying, don't do that. Don't do that. But because we are so set in our ways, True. we ignore that little inner voice speaking to us what that we call is conscience. the wisdom yes. of god saying hey be he careful do not do that watch your steps yes sit don't go yet half of the time things would have been different in our lives if we just pay attention to, to that, the holy one to the holy one if we just pay attention to the Holy One, what He's saying to us. But believe you me, we can understand the flesh, you know, because sometimes the flesh just, Oy! I want, and I want, and I want. And a lot of us give in to the flesh. And then we regret it later on. We regret it later on. Because a lot of us see the signs and we just say, Oh, whatever. Because the Lord is saying, No. But because we want it, we want it, this is what we desire. We are not saying, we're not looking to God to say, listen, because in our mind, we don't know when we're going to get it again. You get to me and say? Amen. But the Lord who sees the future, He knows what is going to end up, what is going to happen in the end. And that is why it is saying here, He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. What is a buckler on? Not what, but who? Who is a buckler? A guidance. Because Psalms 91 speaks it's a guide. about the buckler. It's a guide. It's yes. A guide. It's a guide. Yes. Somebody who, who, who take care of you. Yes. A buckler is your personal helper. Yes. Somebody He's my just, shield yes. and buckler. Yes. That's what the word of yeah. God says. Yeah. yeah. A shield you have buckler, you. buckler, yes, a shield and buckler. And and a butler, butler. But he can be the both of them. Mm -hmm. He can be a butler and a butler. Mm -hmm. Amen. A protector. A protector. And he's also said in verse 8, he keepeth the paths of judgment and preserveth the way of the saints. Yes. He keepeth the paths of judgment. In other words, one thing we can tell you, you ever hear the saying, God slow about him sure? Ah, and that is why he said, be careful what you do, because whatsoever man soweth, where that you so shall that also reap. she's now quoting from Galatians 6, verse 7. Be said, Be not deceived, live all you want, live. do all you want, do all you want, live. yes. But remember, remember, be not deceived. Ha. I cannot be mocked. Thank you. And whatsoever you plant, you're going to reap it. Yep, yes, that's Bible, and that is why it says. I better you hide the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of your heart. Hide the commandments. In other words, it's heart. best you live by what you I live recommend. Live by the commandments that it may be well with thee exactly. and your generations to, to come. come. Amen. Walk in holiness. Walk in righteousness. Because it works out better in the end for you. Much, much better. Exactly. It makes your life much easier. Because guess what happened? God timing. God's timing. Never fail. Never fail. Thank you, um, Prophet Sheldon. Sheldon said, work on God time. Amen. Work on his time. Amen. So true. You see, what we need to understand, you know, when we hide the commandments of the Lord in your heart, become a part of us the word of the lord become a part it of becomes us. a part yes. of us so when you find yourself in some situation sometimes where your back is against the wall amen it's a good place to be you know it because is, it, it, it at the time when you're at that spot a moment of it may decision. not feel like it's a good place to be mm -hmm. because when you're faced with a situation which is a matter of life and death 
a, a situation that you're a saying, second, God, you need to make a I am going to be utterly embarrassed. God, what am I going to do? Because the, 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 the bill collector is at my door. What, what, what am I going to do? When your back is against the wall at that point in time. And all you can hear the Lord say, just stand. Amen. Just stand. Hmm. Do not put yourself in a position where it's going to make things worse for you. Just stand. And see the and salvation. And watch me work. The Lord, and, the, and this is in line with biblical scripture because the Bible said it's not by might and nor by power, mm. but it's by my word, yes, by my spirit, by my knowledge, yes, amen. Said the Lord God Almighty, yes. And we're gonna skip down to verse 12 when yes. it says, To deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh forward things, amen. So, in other words, the Lord is saying, Listen, when you seek me. Me have, me have, me have. It is my responsibility to defend you. To defend you. Yes, not yours. Not yours. Your and job. That's why he said judgment. He said, listen. He said vengeance is mine. Your job is to praise me. My Your job, job is to defend is you. To praise me. And that's the attitude I try to have now. That is the attitude yes. I try to have now. Yes. Because Mister God, you. First thing, let us go back to one. Yes. Notice what he said. My son. Okay, so if you're my father, I, you need to take care of me. You need. No, to no, serious. Me. You need to defend me. Because if I am your son, it means uh, to say I'm defenseless. Pitney can't fight. Pitney can't fight. No, Pitney can't be a PMB and leader. That is why. Pitney can't said, be a B leader. You must cast all your cares. Children upon cannot me. pay bills. Children can't So if not children and choose to ah. live in obedience, you the parents need to take yes. care of me. Because in that's Jeremiah how I talk to God, you know? verse 11, Listen to me. That's how I talk to God. Exactly. Because in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, mm -hmm. he said, I know the plans I have for you. Mm -hmm. Plans to prosper you. So let me to put in. Let me, let me, let me. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're going to repeat the same scripture. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Jeremiah how much? Jeremiah 29. No, you don't have to go there. No, I want to make sure I say it accurately. Okay. I want to make sure I say it because, you see, sometimes you're... Children do not pay bills. So for those that you are worrying over the bills, for those that you are worrying over that, listen to me, you need to go back and say, God, here what? I'm your child. So if I'm your child and... A child not supposed to be working because that is child labor. Yes. So if I'm your child and this world is yours, so you need to fix. You need because to take it care said, of it. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. For I know the th the, what? the plans, the and, plans the thoughts, and the thought that I have towards, towards you. Says the Lord. If you are only obedient as my child. Thoughts of peace. Thought of peace. If you are only walking in the spirit of obedience. To give you an experience. I will give you everything that you desire if you choose to walk in obedience ah. you, you may keep on emphasizing obedience, obedience because most of the time when we are suffering is because we choose to, to do walk our own thing in disobedience you that understand? is what causing the problem and the word of god said obedience is better than sacrifice amen there is a secret saying that you said you know, sin will cost you more than it, when you choose to walk in sin, it costs you more than you did um bargain for bargain for <laughs> <laughs> because when you check it out, you end up spend more than you did plan. Okay, because uh, it costs no, you more. No, 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 no. This is a personal testimony. Uh, Never well, okay. mind. No, share your testimony. I won't hey, care. for those of you, you know why I don't cheat. Let me tell you why I don't cheat. When you cheat, it costs you more. You have to pay the extra bills for, for a man who been around the block. Amen. If you can be honest. We have, we're not about in our present relationship, but when we have a girlfriend and so, and we have somebody else on the side, it costs us more. Cause it costs us the yard and then it costs us something. And worse if you go pick up sitting a road. <laughs> no, serious. It costs you not only more money, but it costs you humiliation. If you know, say you get that stick. I, for those men, you get a stick. And then you have to go and then, the no, yard. No, no, that at the spot. You can't explain to the yard. Okay. And <laughs> worse if you go inject the yard without making the yard know. Oh, mm. God. What are you going to do now? So, in other words. So, anyway, you take it in up here. You don't pay. 
Yeah, listen to me. So you more than me bargain for. So Jum- my right mother used to say, you, you buy, my granny used to say, you buy it all more or you can chew. Let yes. us be realistic yeah. here. Yeah. Let, listen to me. I don't know about you, you know. But anything where God saved me from, I that me chat. Talk. So in other words. Amen. Before you make any decision. Make sure so you consult God first. Yes. Straight across the board. We are the pros and the cons. Yes. Is it worth man. it? Is it worth this? Is worth my life? Does this worth? This my is happiness? a personal testimony. I am addicted to prone. Straight cross. Was. The, listen what me I said, man. Was. Okay, correction. I was, was addicted to prone. Straight yes, cross the was. board. All when me married to she. Straight. I dead serious. You don't want me to. No. I tell you testimony time. Straight cross <laughs> the board. Let <laughs> me just lean back. <laughs> and listen, that's what you need to do. And listen where God saved me from. I was addicted to the, um pornographic. Straight cross the board. And good God Almighty. You think some of the time when you get attacked, you, <laughs> you wonder why you get attacked. Yes. Confession. Yeah. So what happened now? Anytime the door open, and only me, the demons, come at in come at my wife. Yes. And my wife say, why would I be vigilant in this? Why would I? I can't tell her. I say, <laughs> repentance is what matters. So when she said, why am I going through this? Why am I going? I can't tell her. I say, I mean, go use the, vi- the visa card and I do some stuff. I'm just giving an example. Because we are on the boat account. And the account is being charged. Woman and man, anytime you're in a relationship and something happen, nobody jump on a one day for somebody are doing something. So my time, the person in a relationship activate the, the something. Rem negatively. Negatively. Yes. And because the both of you are on one account, it, you're, yes. what I'm saying is that for those of you who would have leave somebody or left somebody and your car and the person is no longer with you because you did not went to god and said end the relationship in the realm of the spirit what happened is you have soul tie yes. and when the individual out there going on with them stuff then you are going to be held accountable that's why i want you to understand what is going on you need to be responsible all across the board Amen. And when I share these things with you, I know it might take a lot out of me and people are looking at me different. But I want you to understand, I am still struggling like everybody else. And my past. But what I want you to understand is, there is a God who I depend on. Yes. And because of the wisdom of God, listen carefully, that's what keep me going. Because when I value now and put on the scale, I said, listen to me, if Satan was going to take me alone, me could understand, but he's now harassing my wife. Me say no, and all of a sudden me have the energy now and the confidence and the something. Anytime me see pro, me just walk past it. Yeah. That's what I want you to understand when you weigh the pros and the cons. Because is it worth yes. my relationship no. with God? No. no. Is it worth my relationship with my family? My listen to me. What I want people to understand is very simple. I want you to understand very simple. You need to weigh the pros and the cons. Mm-hmm. If I am going to be with this, what will happen to this? Mm-hmm. And that is why the Bible said you cannot be too evil. If you be too evil, it come one way. God is going to get somebody to de- get rid of you. Yes. And if you be too good, the Bible said somebody is going to come and get rid of you. So you must be balanced in your weight. Now, the reason why I say this is because I want you to understand. God knows that we are going to make mistakes. Mm-hmm. He knows that. That is why he put things into place. Because if you should go to Genesis 2 verse 9. Genesis 2 verse 9. We saw Jesus Christ of Nazareth being nailed to the cross. And we seen in Genesis chapter 3. So God already put in place repentance. And the death, birth and resurrection of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mm-hmm. Before we even sin against him. God didn't know say we are going to sin. That is why in Ephesians chapter 4 verse 26. It said be angry but sin not. Mm-hmm. So he already make room. Yeah because verse 11 said this question shall preserve Exactly. Thee. Understanding shall keep thee. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So God already know what was going to happen. The thing with God is that when we decide to, you know, like when you, you do the thing already, mm. and before you repent, you try hide it. 
That is when God have a problem. Have a because problem. you know, you know only you wrong don't, me. You don't want to acknowledge Hold on, hold on. You know only wrong me, but you know taking me for a damn idiot. <laughs> no, straight cross the board. You yes. say if Adam did come and say, God, I had sinned against you. Yes. I have done this. Then right there so God would have to do a fix yes. Adam. Fix and all situation would have been different. But yes. Adam was trying to take God for idiot. That's what him don't like. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. The worst thing you can do to God is take him glory give somebody else. Yeah. Listen yeah. to me. God kill you in a second. Mm -hmm. Anytime you because lie to the Holy Spirit. Will not share his Listen glory carefully. Listen anything. carefully. Listen. <laughs> Listen. I want you to understand. The Holy Spirit is what bear witness. Yes. And so the worst thing you can do to God. Because God is the Holy Spirit. I don't want to make it look like the Holy Spirit is a third person. Listen to me. Jesus God. God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, Comforter, the Holy Spirit, God, straight across the board. And you can't separate mm -hmm. and talk about the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. All three of them is God. What do I mean by this? He is God in the flesh because mm -hmm. he is in the body of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Why? As, as spirit, he couldn't come to the earth. Listen carefully. Listen, <laughs> as spirit, he couldn't come to the earth. Why? Because no spirit being have the right, the legal right to be on the earth. Yes. Because when a legal spirit on the earth attacks to you, you are going to get frantic. Yes. Not only frantic, but who the hell is talking to me? You don't have any, because spirit not supposed to be upon the earth. Mm -hmm. So what God had to do now is to come into the world. Amen. That is why he said, oh, God created the body. So um. Acts chapter, it, 10, Acts chapter 10 verse 13 uh, verse 38 God created the body of Jesus Christ of Nazareth why? so that he could come inside the earth but I, I, just, want to make, I just want to make something yes. important about that point you are trying to make before he could do that he had to seek the permission of Mary to use her body exactly so what I want people to understand now is very simple listen carefully so the father the spirit amen the father is the spirit the son is the spirit because mm -hmm. the bible said oh the word take unto itself flesh and dwell among us mm -hmm. john chapter um, 1 verse 14 all of this referring to back to the spirit yes, of god yes. all right so i want people to understand and you know sir ignorance of god make we fight religious warfare yes it's ignorance ignorance, ignorance, ignorance. because we are defending our claim that we're defending the god of the bible and you know the funny thing about all of this is that all of this religious war and everything that everybody is fighting because religion on a whole the, you see what the enemy had done was really was basically set up mankind to fight them one another you ever hear about um the, the, the term um divide and conquer Yes. So everybody, so the church is divided in such a way that we spend all of our time fighting each other and not realizing that while we are there fighting each other, the enemy is coming in and a rubbish just little by little by little. And that what is happening to the church. The church has become so defenseless because we're distracted are because they are distracted yeah the leaders are distracted with tithes and offering and 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 pumps and presentry yes. because i don't know what it is sometimes but I, i'm watching on television because you wonder to yourself you really are you some of them have they really listened to themselves look back at these tapes and really listen to the things they that can't they you know say they can't and do they can't and uh, let me tell you why they can't the Bible tells us in first um second Corinthians chapter four verse four, it said the God of this world has blinded the eyes, blinded the spiritual eyes that they cannot see. So when yes when when your eyes open, yes, then 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 brother Smith and sister Smith never said that. No, we didn't. Because we are blind. Alright? Why? Because we choose to walk in the spirit of disobedient. Mm -hmm. And that is what caused him. Somebody said why when Jesus Christ was baptized. The, the scriptures say that a dove appears from heaven and a voice now listen listen carefully because there is so many spirit inside the world amen we need to have a certify our certification to say okay listen to him 
He is the one that comes in the spirit of truth. Yes. Now the Bible said, listen carefully, first John four one. It said, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirit. So when John baptized him, Amen. He was now walking in the spirit of truth. Yes. John was the one who bear the first testimony. John said, Listen to me, this is the one who I preach. Mm. In other words, first thing you need to understand the Bible said in Isaiah 42 8, God not share him glory with anybody, mm. but yet still the spirit from heaven came down in a dove and said, Listen to me, this is him. So what is this actually saying? This is God anointing in the flesh. The Holy now what I want you to understand, if you look on it the physical way, the body of Jesus was teleporting, or, tran or not tra teleporting, but transporting the spirit of God. Amen. So what, where we went wrong, or where we, we are going wrong, is that we are looking at the physical body, and say the physical body is God. The spirit that lives inside of you and me it's is not God. It's the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Amen. Spirit. And you need to understand that. So the spirit that was inside the body of Jesus. The body of Jesus is just a mere man. A mere flesh. Like what we have. Like what we have. Amen. But what makes him special is because he chose to walk in obedience. And, just and like God you and I. Just him. like you and I. You and I are now special and consider the children of God. Amen. That is why he is called the son of God. Yes. Amen. Just like you and I, we are now. Because when Jesus came back, you know, it's because he came back to take back the authority. Because yes. the flesh had given the authority over to the Satan. That is why the Bible said in Revelation chapter 1. Listen carefully. Revelation 1 verse 18 said, I have now take back the authority. In mm -hmm. other words, I have now take back the key of death and hell. Yes. Because Satan was the one who was passing down judgment on us. Mm -hmm. Jesus of Nazareth went back and said, listen to me. Are you who didn't make them? No, give me the key. In other words, give me the authority. In other words, I am the one who now determine if them go hell or heaven. That's what it means. So what I want you to understand, all of this was made possible because he chose to come into the flesh. Mm -hmm. Why? Because you cannot govern. In other words, if you are going to tell me to do something, you need to give me an example. That's why God put on the body of Jesus Christ of Nazareth you know, and come down and say, listen to me, this is how you should be living. Mm -hmm. That's what he did. That is the only reason why he come to the earth. This is how you should. But God, me can't lift up. Okay, fine. That is why the Bible tells us in the book of Hebrew 4. I have felt everything that you went through. Yes. I have felt your pain. I have felt everything. And if me ask you to do it, I'll be cast. Me can't do it. And mm -hmm. see, I'm going to show you an example. So live like how me live. Yes. That's why he came into the flesh. Nothing wrong with mm -hmm. that. Because as a God, he's telling me to love Sister Michelle. I mean, Sister Incel ate me. And I tell him, why did God do that? Why? Because he wants you to know that it can be done. And also, if you notice a mission that he had before him, it would have required for him to be in the flesh. No, stop right there. Stop right there. No, it would require that he be inside the flesh. No, the only way he can come to the flesh. I love you, baby. No, remember that thought. The only way he could come to the flesh. Remember Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. I will give them the authority over what? The bird. Bird mean the spirit, the fallen angel. So if God gave us the authority from there, then he would have bright to come back on earth, come war on the earth. So that's why I'm dependent upon our permission. That is why in Revelation chapter 3 verse 20 said, Behold, I stand at the door and I knock. Waiting on you to put me back in control. Yes. Continue what you were yes, saying. Yes, so now. I, I was saying that in order for him to carry out a mandate which was to redeem. Him if he asked with permission. Not just that. Yes. He had to come in our flesh because you see, what he was also doing, he was teaching us that despite the fact that we are in the flesh, yeah. we can exercise holiness. The, the holiness, righteousness. And all of that because if you notice the examples that Christ set while he was on the earth, before he did anything, he used to pray a lot. No, for all of those men. He prayed a lot. For all of those he men. He showed us 
that you can be in the flesh, but at the same time you don't have to sin. When I was much younger, I have two head. Don't try to figure it out. I have two head, one brain. Don't try to figure it out. Man talk. I have two head, one brain. Now, the one when of the brain always try to rule the one with the brain. But when we get older, the one with the brain now start rule the one without the head. Listen carefully. When you're young, the one without the head try to lead the brain. In other words, let me put it in a regular term. In other words, do not right allow there. your flesh Do not rule. allow your penis to rule you Do your not vagina. allow <laughs> your sexual organs To determine Amen. your life So when you are much older now And get wiser now You can say listen to me flesh top, Be top. quiet in the name of Jesus Christ top, top. Yes Amen. You have to put your flesh under the Exactly. Listen because to if me you don't do Shut that, up You will find yourself in trouble You, you are going to find yourself in trouble Shut up You are run from you find yourself going right back into it. Compromise. This same mess Compromise. you find yourself into. It's the same mess you are run from. It's the same thing you keep going back. When's and they talking to you? Shut up. And that is the example that Christ Amen. left for us when he was on the face of this earth. Where he's saying, listen, I was in the flesh. I was walking and in the And I face did not allow earth, it to rule me. I did not allow it to rule me. Amen. You see we are, why God come? And that is why he said, listen to me, man. Up your soul. You control it. Exactly. Be in charge of your mind. Exactly. Be in charge of your brain. Rebuke the devil and he will flee from you. Because the enemy can't do anything unless you give it the, the permission to operate. And that is why we need to take back the authority that Christ has placed in our hands. The authority over our souls. The authority over our lives. Because many of the times when nobody are doing what we are doing to itself. Because of the mindset. Of and the it, things yes. that we say into our lives. The things, oh Lord, me hungry like dog. Oh Lord, me broke like this. Oh Lord, this, me sick like dog. Lord, me this, me that, me that. We are the ones who curse ourselves on a daily basis. Go ahead, you're not going to mount to nothing. You're, you, you're ugly like your papa. You're this, you're that, you're terror knows what. We are the ones who do it. Somebody speak to you about something and you don't even listen to what the person is saying. You start real up, me no matter about talk to me. Me don't want nobody this. Me don't want nobody that. <coughs> Not understanding. Amen. It was in your best interest. It was in your best interest. You have these young people who behave like they know it all. Yes. Your parents say, no. Don't go to this party. Don't do this. No. You can't talk to me again. Because me are this, me are that. Amen. And when you go out there, wrong place at the wrong time. Yeah. Trouble catch you. I remember Sorry. some few few days ago, few years ago, few years ago, I was um, involved in a relationship. Somebody who I love dearly, you know, I made the wrong decision and I ended up, I mean, leaving the, in fact, the person leave me. And when the person leave me, amen, long years after we meet on Facebook again. And when I message the person, I was now married. Not to you, babe. Um, to somebody else. I, I was not married, and when I visit, um, text the person, I I was trying to um bring back the old past. Yes. And I said, I want you to open the messenger, and the person said, Listen to me. I love you enough to tell you not to do this. Yes. Do not wreck your relationship. Yes. That's what the person said. I love you enough. Do not wreck your relationship. Mister, you see, when the person said that to me. Me come back in myself. I me say I was not just disrespecting myself. I was disrespecting God. I was disrespecting the person. I was disrespecting the person that I was with mm. at the time. Amen. So right there, so sometime when people talk, not sometime when people talk to you, it is for you now to go back and weigh the pros and the cons. Yes. Because the person said, "Listen to me. I am already in a relationship, and we're not going back together." Yes. So it you know, makes sense we do this five seconds and do this and do that. Mm -hmm. And so listen to me. I love you enough, Glenn, it is over. Yes. The reason why I say this, a friend like them that you can keep. Thank you. Any friend where you have, we can tell you when you're wrong. Mm -hmm. Me no want them the friend. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You get me? My able friend must, must be able, able to tell me when I'm going yeah. wrong. If I am your friend, and listen to me, me now say me now, me now come and load you up. You know. No, I won't yeah. be doing that. 
But I come to you and say, listen to me, what you're doing is wrong. Oh. Brother Simit, what you're doing is wrong. Sister Simit, I don't believe what you're doing is the right way. Yes. However, yes. now, if you have the, listen to me, what I don't like, this is what I don't like. If you don't have any alternative, please do shut up. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. If you have any alternative, please to give me. Brother Simit, don't do that. However, you can do this. Yes. That I will accept. Yes. But I don't like when you come and tell me, you can't do this, you can't do this, you can't do this. And you don't give me solution. Yeah, okay. No, I don't like that. Oh, no, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Amen. Give me solution. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I say this is because many individuals today will tell you that what you're doing is wrong what you're doing is wrong okay fine if what i'm doing is wrong how do i make it right yes i don't know well leave me alone let me do me wrong yes. until you can figure out the right yes. come back come yes. tell me but for now leave know, me I know, alone I know what i would do i would add to what you're saying by saying if somebody should come and say you don't like i don't like what you're doing this is that blah blah you know i mean i'll go back to my employer the holy spirit yes and say father god so and so and so say x y and z what say you because you see i take my mandate from the holy spirit i take my instructions from the holy spirit and whatever my father says because you see what you need to aim to do not to be a man pleaser and that's what has caused our churches to be in a lot my of God. problems today because a lot of these pastors are men they are peace in the crowd Yes. They don't want to say thus saith the Lord. No. Because they're not going to be popular anymore. And it might affect the offering plate. But it is better to be on the side <laughs> of it is better to be on the side of righteousness and at peace with God than to to, 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 to please the masses. Yes. And at the same time god is upset with you because you will have to give an account for your actions so if you know say, something wrong and you see say, fornication adultery all sort of things are happening in the church yeah. gossiping tail bearing malice keeping all sort of things are happening in the church deacon a beat up him wife all sort of atrocities the pastor himself having extra relationships and doing all sorts of things we are to speak Amen. because god is going to hold us accountable and it doesn't make any sense oh you try to please the crowd now what i want people to understand listen carefully what i want people to understand is that we're all human we are all human and when you are a human being, human being should depend upon, not themselves, but upon Almighty God. So, when I come here sharing my testimony, my past, you see my wife? I tell my wife everything. May I go say it again? I tell my wife everything. Now, what I want Bujo to understand, I'm going to address Bujo now. Bujo said, Miss, listen to him because once a teacher, always a cheater. Listen, first thing I want you to understand, Bujo, the person who cheat is not a sinner. A sinner is those who try to hide it when they cheat. Now, what I want you to understand is very simple. I have never cheated on my wife. Amen? So what I want you to understand, Bujo, as I mean, my wife here, Michelle, all right? Now, what I want you to understand, Bujo, listen carefully. What I want you to understand is everything. When I share my testimony, my testimony is to give Jehovah God glory. When I share my testimony is to show everybody, say, listen to me. Even the pastor is now struggling and so the pastor, not, you, you, you know, if I, in a, some churches, and you have to wonder if the pastor sin. No, no, me. Me, I make you know, say, me struggle. And just like you, me, I depend upon God. So, what I want people to do, because in a, some church, when you sin, you have to wonder if the pastor ever sin. 
Listen carefully. And what I want on. people to hold understand on. is hold very on. simple. Hold on, hold on. Yes. Take a pen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, yes. we come against every spirit that has been assigned to disrupt this session. And we take our authority over it right in now. The name of Jesus it Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are here about holiness. Yes. We are here about teaching the word of Almighty God. Amen. And we're not going to go toe to toe with any demons or devils right now. In, in the, the name of name Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Of and Jesus so Father Christ God, we give you all the glory. Yes. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. Yes. In the precious name of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ of Nazareth. Of Let Nazareth. us continue. Amen. And as Amen. we were saying. Amen. As children of the Most High God, yes. we have to rely on the Holy Spirit to be sure. the guide of our lives. And that is where wisdom, knowledge, and understanding comes from. Amen. We have to take the consorted effort and the decision to say that, listen to me, I am going to walk in holiness. I chose to walk in righteousness. I chose to walk the path that Christ has laid out for me. Amen. Because when Jesus Christ of Nazareth came in the flesh, he came in the flesh to prove to me and you yes. that you can live a victorious living. Look at the examples that he set for us. Follow them. Follow them. Amen. He is saying to us, listen, put the Lord at 12 years old when his mother couldn't find him. Where they go and found him? In the temple. And he said, listen, don't you know I'm about my father's business? Amen. Right then and there, he knew what his purpose on the face of the earth was. And there he was gathering information. Amen. At 12 years old, Amen. he was in the temple gathering information Amen. and that is what the word of the lord is saying to us this morning the wisdom knowledge and understanding that is contained in the word of god gather, it. Says, gather it and then apply it to your and life then apply it Amen. to the heart that you do not sin against god because what the lord is saying the vultures the wolves yes they are just lying in wait some of them will come like what happened with samson you see what that's what happened with Samson, you know? Amen. Samson walked in disobedience because the Lord has said to him, said, Listen, leave them woman there alone. Stay in you, stay in you, stay with your group. Amen. But no, Samson allowed the flesh, the eyes to have the best of him. To have the best of him. Amen. And that was how Delilah was there to lure him away. But the beauty of the merciful God that Samson was given a chance to redeem himself. Amen. Do not allow us. Do not allow us. And I'm speaking to us. Do not do the things that will cause you Amen. to suffer unnecessarily. And that is why it is better to be obedient to the will of Almighty God. Because obedience is better than the will of a sacrifice you have to go make. So it's better to do the good from day one. Weigh the pros and the cons and make your decision that I am going to walk uprightly. I am going to apply the knowledge, the wisdom and the understanding of God. I'm going to live in godly wisdom. I'm going to allow godly wisdom to be my daily breakfast, my daily lunch, my daily dinner. Because if I do not do that, Amen. I will find myself at the receiving end of death and destruction or i'm going to find myself being battered and bruised by demons and devils i am going to find myself in a situation where i'm broke and pauperized because one of the things that sin does to us is take away your blessing it dries it up what is worth your relationship with god amen sin is so sweet that it worth your relationship with god does it worth your life all we are simply saying stay under the banner of righteousness and truth Amen. stay under the banner of holiness and righteousness stay under the banner of wisdom knowledge under godly wisdom godly knowledge godly understanding it makes your life much easier and the god that we serve he says, listen, 
Yea, that is in verse 21 of Proverbs chapter 2. Yeah. And it says, For the upright shall dwell in the land, and the perfect shall remain in it. That is the Lord is saying, If you put me first, I will defend you. I will defend you. Amen. I will provide for you. I will protect you. I will be there for you because I'm a God of my word. Because the word of God said, heaven and earth will pass away, but his words will not return unto him void. So question, why would God encourage us to keep his word? Because the think, words... Think, think, think. The reason why he yes. encourages us because you see we have our authority we are the ones who are in charge of our destiny yes. we are in charge of our lives and if we do not keep the guide that he gives us yes because you know he placed us in this earth and him don't tell you say your enemy is this yes your enemy is a spirit and he is now equipping us because you can't come put me down yourself so. And don't give me the means by which I am to live by. And defend myself. And against defend the myself against these spirits. True. And that is why he gives me his words and says, Listen, know them. Yes. Know them, write them on the, the pillars of your heart. Yes. Because you might find yourself awesome in a position answer. where you might not be able to find one Bible. Awesome answer. But because answer. you would have already known it. Awesome answer. But let me add a little bit more. Go ahead. Amen. The reason why God asks us to study his word yes is for us to know how to make the demands quite okay there's no way you can make demands <laughs> 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 if you don't know what we demands exactly <laughs> there you have it it's a simple thing like that there so you know have your it. right yes so that you can say listen to me but daddy didn't you say this exactly <laughs> That's why. So God put Himself. God put Himself ah, in, in that spotlight. Exactly. Listen to me. He put Himself in that spotlight. He said, "Study the word, which is your constitutional right. right. Then you can make demand." Because you have to know the. Then, Lord. Daddy, let me ask you one question. Me read over this. So said Moses, get manna from heaven. So oh, me and so far. Then the question is to him, what are you doing Why the manna is not coming into your yard? Exactly. What may I do? So the only way you can make claims, listen carefully, it is unfair for a parent or a parents to be telling them, child, why you don't leave the boy alone? And you never equip the young girl or the young man with the necessary information mm. that you would have once lived and passed through. Listen to me. Give them example. I was in the position that you was in. I know that you're young now and it seems as if the world is going to... If the ch you talk to the child like that, the child will best listen to you. Yes. But if you're going to give the child the information as if I them I make the mistake yes. and you never make it before, mm -hmm. to hell with you. Better I listen to you. You ever been mm -hmm. there? Well, mommy, I come tell me this. Listen to me. If you talk to the, ch the children or the child different and say, listen to me, I was there before mm -hmm. and I was there and because I did not understand this and did not understand that. Mm -hmm. But no, the picnic figure it out, you know. Because the picnic figure it out and say, okay, mommy is 35 and me are 16. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you see, what we then need mommy didn't breed when mommy had this. You see, what that means that mommy used to do that you see, too. What we need Amen. To understand. You don't want that. You see, what we need to understand. Exactly. You know? Tell the person, say, listen to me. This is what we went through. This is what yes, I went through. Yes, that is why yes. I can tell you, when you talk to the children like that, they can relate. That is the same thing why Jesus came into the flesh. Mm -hmm. He came and said, listen to me. I have been there. Ah. Oh, God Almighty. You never see that so one if coming. If me can do it. If me can do it, you, you can, can do it too. too. I have been there. I have been there. Amen. Mm -hmm. And every time I was going to everything, I went back to the Father. So yes. every time you are going to anything, come to me. Go seek the Father. Father, if no. it is your will, it take it this away Thank from me. You. Jesus gave us a I feel the anointing. Yes. Listen to me. A long time me want to explore. Jesus gave. That is why he came into the flesh. He is asking us to be holy. How can we be holy when you are a spirit? How? Listen to me. That is why people is have to believe that I 
I can't be only the white living in the flesh. I have to live in the spirit first. Jesus said, no. Why did he say no? Because I was there with you in the flesh. And anytime I was going through my tribulation, I went down in prayer. Amen. 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 What he happened when he went in prayer? Ah. When he went in prayer, that is a mood of, listen to me. Surrender. Yeah, listen to me. No, no, no. Not just surrender. You have a time when and the phone, listen, me. listen, hold on. Mm -hmm. You have a time when the phone has a problem. All you need to do is just go to the reset button. Just shut it down. And once you shut it down, you gone back to reset. Yes. That is what happened. Whenever you're facing trouble and con you're confused. So once you go in prayer, reset button. Yes. All of a sudden, peace. Yes. God is now in control. You can face your problem. Because you see, what you need to understand. No, the reason. Also, oh, hold on, hold on. Yes, the reason why I say this is because I want to adjust the individual. Oh, the individual asks me the question, how can I lie to God? And if I lie to God, what is going to happen? Let us go to the Bible. The Bible said in 1 Samuel chapter 15 verse 22, it said obedience is better than sacrifice. Mm -hmm. And then it went on to say in verse 23, when you rebel against God, when you lie against God, yes. when you do all these things against God, now you're walking in the spirit of disobedience. Ah. Now look at it this way, when your son and your daughter disobey you, how do you feel? That's the same way God feel. That's the same way God feel. Oh, God Almighty. That's the same way God feel. And God said, okay, fine. I want to defend you, but you are now disrespecting me yes. in my house. Yes. So God said, okay, go on. Just listen to me. You ever go, parents, pick me, ever come in your house yet? My grandfather used to tell me, anytime you feel, say your tone heavier than for me, no boy. <laughs> go and get your own key. Listen to me. All people will understand this. Everybody will go up in the, listen to me. Once you go up in the 80s, you will understand. Because they don't use them already again. My grandfather tell me, say, boy, two bull can race now one penna. Any day you feel, say your tone heavier than for me. That means that challenge you account. Anytime you feel, say your tone heavier than for me. <laughs> Time for you to go get your own key. Yes, go get your own, own key. key. That is the same principle with God. Any time, listen what he said. Go back to for judge. Um, the, he said what? My what? My son. My son. So is that you're a child? So yes. once you remain a child, I will provide for you. But me now send pick. Listen to me. Me send pick me a school, not adult. How much are we ever see so? My God. I, I preach my that God. every day. That's why God said, my son. So he said, listen to me. I will take care of you. What, listen to me. Would you, you have a daughter where you want to spend pan. You have a dream for her, everything. And you don't want her to suffer like you. And then when she starts disrespecting, you don't want to spend pan that? No. Listen to me. I don't want to spend pan that. If me decide to spend $10, I start spend 2 and save 8 for myself. Because I see where she, you she see going. What is, you, you see what is going to happen. Well, I see the same way with God. God can intervene in our life without our permission. And when we start to act up, he said, okay. And you know what I love about the word of Almighty God when he says his words will not return unto him void. Amen. So what is it that you are facing with? Somebody said, am I reading or not? Say, no, I am not. Say, we are just led by the inspiration say, of the Holy Spirit. What you need to understand is that the word of Almighty God is keys is a key that we need yes. for victorious living. Amen. So whatever situation you are faced with, yes. you go to God with it. You say, Lord, you said this is and that yes. and that. Let me give you an example. You're going through a situation where you realize that you are not well and you are keep plaguing. You go to God, you say, God, you said, I must, as my soul prosper, I must pro be prosperous and being good health. Yes. And your word says so. Your word of God says that you were bruised for my iniquity. You said your chastisement of your peace was upon you. said by your stripes I am healed. Okay. Delivered. You said God, you said you came to set the captives free. And so you are now saying to God, say Lord, then if your word says so, and I am keeping your commandments, as you said in Deuteronomy 28, yes. I will be blessed. My children will be blessed. Then, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whatever is happening to me, me have authority to say, I command you to go in the name of, in the Jesus, name of Jesus Christ, Christ of, Nazareth. of Nazareth. Because what you have to do, you know, 
you bring the situation to God. Amen. And then you have to also examine yourself. Exactly. To ensure. Amen. That you are. Now walking in. Walking. The principle. In obedience. Because this is some of us don't have. We some of us have some religious practices. Yes. That we have learned. Yes. While we were introduced to religion. And we carry that religion those practices with us. With us. And some of those practices are those practices are a hindrance yeah. to our breakthrough. And have nothing to do with God. And also, some of us is because we have no faith. True. Our faith is in the olive oil. Yes. Our faith is no, in no, the no, piece of cloth. No, it's too much. No, no, make it still. I don't like it because our heads are cut off. No, no, with, with this, I, I will not just this. Just to continue. You see, what you need to understand is that the Lord said all he requires from us is just a little mustard seed faith. Yes, just faith. One little piece. Yes. But a lot of us, if we don't have a piece of cloth just from like, one church just like, in our hand, because you know why me mm, can talk so because mm, me used to do it. Mm -hmm. Me see me get one piece of cloth where it's sent out from one church. Mm -hmm, and every mm -hmm. time me I pray, see me with a little piece of cloth in my hand. And me I pray, Father, and then because me claim say anointing the pan it, then claim say anointing the pan the piece of cloth. I mean there with a piece of cloth in my hand, and me I pray. And me pray and me pray. That's ritual. And when me done. Yeah. This situation still turn up and look for me same God way. Yeah. Me go again and me, go, me, me, me have the whole, me, me have the anointing olive oil. According to them. According to them. Yes. Because what? Me have the, the, the Lord blood in, 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 in inside the in bottle. In a bottle. Yes. Wow. And me take it and me paint the wall. And me paint this. And me wash down myself. And me wash down my children them. And because the of religion. Still turn up same yes. Way. Yes. Because of religion. You see what we need to under we need to unlearn. Religion. Just like God, listen carefully. Just a second. Hold right there. We need to unlearn. Hold that. Unlearn. Yes. Just like God, God met Moses in Exodus chapter three. Yes. And the first thing God said to Moses, "Take off thy shoes." Ah. What that they mean? Take off. Shoes religion. represent religion. Take off everything where you learn. That's what shoes represent. Come back. To and me. that is why God said, "Factory set." That's why He tell Moses. Factory set. set. Now, what do I mean by factory set? When you get a baby in a your hand, the doctor slaps the baby and, ah! and give the baby a innocent baby you get it up until when you program where you want in a that baby. Mm -hmm. So when God Moses face to face with God, God give Moses a slap and set him back factory set. That pain that the Lord drop in my heart. Exactly. You remember when Christ was started his ministry mm -hmm. he went and he looked for 12 disciples if you notice what he did everywhere he went they went with him you know what christ was doing at that point he was teaching him preparing them he was preparing them the so same they were, thing so they were going through their stick up in theory stick up at in. that point stick us, stick us in so he this is the same thing that happened between moses and, and joshua Ah, Elisha, Elisha and Elijah. And Elijah. Now, because Gezai did not continue, Jesus had to come and continue with Elisha. That is why Jesus is often referred to as the spirit of Moses and ah, Elijah. Or Joshua. Or Joshua. Exactly. Amen. Because he would have taken up the same principle. Yes. Why? Because God is a principle God. And you see, that is the same thing that is happening today. We are, we are being taught yes. by our leaders. But the problem is what we are being taught is what is causing us to be in the state that we're in. That is why God is now saying, take off thy shoes. In other words, remove every religion that you was every, taught. Everything. And now come, come to me. Come to me. And allow me. me god just a teacher. second now for that individual who asks was i reading no we are not reading from any script all right it's the holy spirit downloading in us and we're talking amen and that is why we study the bible because whenever we need what we need the holy spirit will now bring it back to us now this is where we want you guys to be that is why we come and hear 
teaching or sharing with you how you can have this relationship with God. Amen. And it all starts by using the name of Jesus and Christ also, of Nazareth. And also, also, yes. the only way I can have a relationship with you is if I spend time with you. You see, what we need to understand, we don't have to be super religious. All the Lord is saying, make some time for me. Make some time to be in my presence. Yes. Make some time to read my word. Talk to me. And let me talk back to you. That's all he's saying. Come, 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 come in. Come commune with me, man. Revelation chapter, up. Revelation chapter 3, verse 20 said, Behold, I stand at the door mm -hmm. and I knock. Mm -hmm. A good mm -hmm. individual. Listen to me. No matter even if they do even open. Once you come to somebody, office or somebody, you need to knock. That is the same principle God said. Yes. I give you the authority to run the earth. Therefore, in Genesis chapter 1, 26. However, I cannot come back. Even though I am your creator, I will not destroy. And this is what the Lord is also yes. saying. Principle. That you need to put him in charge of exactly. your life. So that is why he said, Behold, I come at the door and I knock. Which door? The art door. Yes. So he talked to you in your vision and dream. I come and I knock. Mm -hmm. Why? Because this is your life. And because it is your life, I will not interrupt your life and force myself on you. you principle. Yes. Listen. Principle. Um, in the book of um, Leviticus chapter 1 verse 3, it said, Anybody come to me must first come to me voluntarily. Yeah, voluntarily. Yes. That's what God said. Yes. So all he said, put me in charge. Put me in charge. Put me in charge. But it has to be done voluntarily. voluntarily. And that is why we have so much demons on the platform right now. These demons would have chose. Our chosen. Amen. Are chosen. Amen. And we talk, when I say demons, you know, demons if you have somebody like advocate agents. to rep agents to represent them. And so we have some persons on TikTok right now. Uh, would you believe somebody said the picture behind me? The picture behind me is causing them to to, to think of, of, of sexual activity. Oh my god. And so Father, we shut down that sexual demons right now in that person's life. In the mighty in that mighty listen to me. That mind is no listen to me that is satan itself and so father that sexual demons right now we shut down these demons right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth that lustful spirit we shut it down right now in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and so lord we are declaring right now we're not praying against the individual we're praying against that spirit in the mighty name of jesus christ of nazareth yes. have your own way father and let thy will be done as we give you everything in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ of Nazareth. Of Nazareth. Amen. <sighs> now, what I want people to understand, just like how you can be an agent of God, you can also be an agent of the devil. The question is, remember what the Bible said? It said in Second Corinthians chapter 4, it said, The weapon of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty true jesus christ of nazareth through the pulling down hold on hold on hold on hold on, hold on. Of strong sorry oils. bless the water and did not say that pastor please i say it's distracting me sorry bless the water and oh, i didn't understand i said that it is it is distracting this i don't understand i don't understand what is the person saying? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Is it a, the, the picture is a distraction? Hold well, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We, 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 we see what is going on. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. I need to read this. Okay. Okay. I don't understand. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, pastor. Sorry, your picture behind you is distracting. That's what I was. Uh, that's what I was. Uh, it is distracting her. Mm -hmm. If it is distracting her, in what way is it causing her? In what way is it distracting you? That's what I was. Can you say why it that's is what distracting I was you? Then let us see what. what, what let, let, let us see what the person say why is the picture is distracting her because Let us see what it. it, it because I want to focus on both of you. Oh, she want to focus on our faces. She wants to see our faces.
to add it or maybe how it was set it was causing um she was seen or i guess she was seen hold on 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 i understand what she said okay, okay she right. wants to see our faces and now listen pictures. carefully listen carefully listen carefully listen carefully listen carefully i am much years old big man now marcia mcpherson if i have misread this is one of the reasons why i always take up people on the platform mm -hmm. because sometimes you read some stuff and you get the wrong impression yes. for this i openly for this i openly apologize to her yes, yeah. because when i got the, the the message a while ago i was of the opinion that she was saying that because of the picture she was now being distracted mm -hmm because of the okay okay right. and for that i do apologize okay All right. openly just oh. hold on let me talk okay. please let me talk no, I'm say, okay. I'm just as say though you. i would have talked out mm -hmm. i need to apologize out as well mm -hmm. all right so i was the one who get the wrong message and that is one of the reasons why when persons start to talk i always said come to the platform so that I can get you clearly. This is one of the reasons. Because I don't want... You know, when you, when you say something, you get the wrong impression. Yes. Because you did not get... Well, for that, I do apologize. Okay. All right. All right. So it's not the six demons where it twisted her mind. As, oh, I would have thought. And oh, I do apologize. Lord, She's saying that the picture was... was being distracted. It was, yeah, because she said she was more seeing the picture. Okay, fine. So you just want to see with so ugly faces. Okay, ugly. our ugly faces. Okay, fine. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, what she said. Love you, Pastor. Sin. Oh my God, Marcia, you know that going out question. And I mean, me almost certain that they see a Marcia. You know, <laughs> me almost yes. certain that they see a Marcia. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. But so, people of God, I just want you to understand. Yes. This is me. All right. If I offend anybody, I apologize. If listen to me, and that is what I want. The thing I want you to understand me. You see, if you're wrong with in in the public, no coming a secret. You see, anybody were wrong with you in a. You see, any platform, the person wrong you in a. You ever have some person will load you up in front of your boss, and they want to come behind you. Know, I am sorry. No, the same way you load me up in front of my boss. Come talk. Come apologize back in front of my boss. Nobody come load me up in front of my boss and then I come apologize behind me. I don't want your apology. You listen to me. The same way you accuse me, come tell me about the same platform, come apologize. So when you said, Brother Smith, I'm sorry, okay, fine. I'm going to call the boss. <laughs> me? Yes, man. I'm going to call the boss. Listen to me. No, no, what I want people to understand. Do not let people Billy Cleot mirror their character and then when them come now, they want to come privately apologize when they publicly embarrass you. No! No! Take me back to the courthouse. Mm -hmm. Take me back. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Take me back to the courthouse. You insult me in the courthouse. You need to give me a public apology in the courthouse. Praise yes, the Lord. The so Lord. that's what I did a while ago. I would have got the wrong information uh, in my mind. Uh, that's why I'm sure you know, say me fallible. Mm -hmm. You see why I make always attack me mistake them? Because I want people to understand. <laughs> I want people to understand. Listen carefully. I am fallible. Don't depend on me. Depend on the Holy Spirit. That is why I always start my testimony. Because some pastor listen to me you know why i was in my mess so long because i thought my pastor was right if i didn't thought he was right then i would have talked to god myself but because i thought he was right i wasn't questioning him and thus i wasn't questioning the spirit yes. yeah. so when i come on here i want people let me tell us the moon the moon red or the moon yellow listen to me question god brother simit did say x and x is brother simit hearing from you is sister Smith hearing from you? Nobody take everything what we say. Question God. Because guess what happened? That is in Bombay. Yes, so true. We are vulnerable. Yes, and that to is deception. How we have been re 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 emphasizing yes. the importance of forging that relationship. Exactly. With Almighty so that God. nobody not because, take you. And also 
Yes. When you have that relationship with Almighty God, that is when His godly wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is even more effective in your life because you would see the importance of going to Him with whatever situations that you're faced with Amen. because that is the first outlet you're going to think about. You know? Because when something has become a part of your life, it is very easy for you to just run into the present. In the same way like a child, you have a child <laughs> and something wrong with the child. The first thing the child going to run come is to go find mommy and daddy. Of course. To complain to. Of course. Because mommy and daddy have to fix this thing. It's the same thing with the Holy Spirit. It's the same thing with Almighty God. That's Let why be in the first outlet that Proverbs you run to. two, Proverbs two verse one my children so anytime you have anything me going back to me daddy going to daddy me going back daddy, to daddy you say yes if i do this go then back you to will daddy do that. so daddy what is going on here so because it's the one thing i know about our father yes he is a god of his word and when there are avenues or doors open in your life that you need to speak in to shut or to ask him to shut. Daddy is going to bring it to the forefront and say, Remember when you did do so and so and so, you know. You need to pray against that. No. Oh, daddy will say, Oh, remember when you went down to the flea market? Yes. And you see one nice little statue where you didn't fall in love with? Go take your to house, go throw it away. You remember when you didn't go down to John house? And John did give you one piece of uh, 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 jewelry or something that you still have on your body? Take it off. Amen. Now, the reason why we go back to daddy is very simple. Simple. All right? The enemy is a spirit. Yes. And only a spirit can fight a spirit. Yes. You get me? Yes. So because only a spirit can fight a spirit, we need mm -hmm. a spirit that is stronger than the enemy. Yes. To fight back the enemy. Mm -hmm. In fact, only God alone can remove spirit out of you. Exactly. You get me? Yes. Only God alone can remove a spirit out of you. Yes. I emphasize again. Take it from me. A farmer Ray Ray. Only, only God alone can take a spirit out of you. Yes. Everybody, everybody has suppressed the spirit. Suppress the spirit. Put on something stronger. God remove it. Yes. Like for instance. When I use the restroom, what I do is to use the spray, the air conditioner, to suppress this, what is there. That's not what God does. God remove it. All together. All together. Out of you. Well, that's what I want people to get. At. I just give you that scenario so that you can understand. You use one to suppress the next, but that's not what God did. God remove everything. So in other words, God wash your face. Exactly. And that is why our daily prayer to him, Father, wash us afresh exactly. in your blood. Anoint us afresh. Amen. Because each day we pick up contamin tam contamination. And just like oh, we need a physical bath, we also need a spiritual bath exactly. as well. Amen. Physical I'm being cleansing. edified by the both of you. Thanks a lot. Amen. You are welcome. Amen, Marian Brown. You are yes, yes man. Once you see, reached. once you see the Holy Spirit come down, we, uh, have, reached. we have reached the limit. And so, the for those end. of you, Amen. Once the Holy Ghost stop talking, you know, we stop talking. So, for those of you that are on on live that would like prayer, what I'm going to do is to share with you now how to pray for yourself. So, my wife is going to lead the prayer. All right, you're going to lead the prayer. Amen. Them say woman must keep silent, yeah, but, but in my house she can't keep right, silent. Um, Amen. Go ahead. All right. Um, so what we're going to pray is a prayer of deliverance. It, it a say, general say, deliverance say, prayer. The thing is, you know, yes. the thing is, you know, it depends on what situation you are faced with. Okay. And your, because sometimes it's hard for me to just pray a general prayer. Well, fine. So let, all, 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 all. So what you need to understand is very simple. You're Just like when you're going to the grocery shop. And you want to say, okay, you're going to your car. Before you go to the before you go to the shop, the first thing you do is to go in your cupboard. Get the pen and paper, go in your cupboard and go in where you want. I said, okay, fine. Because you're working on a budget. Amen? So you're working with Alice. So I said, okay, fine. Um, this is not there and this is not there. This is what I'm going through. This is the same way you take um account right. of what you're going so through. So let me give you an Amen? example of your praying. You are going to make a decision. Yes. 
about a particular situation and you want the Lord to Are you going through a particular situation? All right. So let me pray first as it relates to you're going to make a decision. Yes. A life-changing decision. Yes. And you want the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Here we go. Father, in the name of Jesus Father, Christ. Father, in the name... Take Christ. time now. Let me... Let me teach you teach me. Oh, yeah, go so fast. Go on again, man. Sure. Father. Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the of name Nazareth, of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I come before you this afternoon. I come before you this afternoon. To exalt your name. To exalt your name. To worship you. To worship you. And to glorify you. And to glorify you. Heavenly Father. Eternal God. You are God all by yourself. All by yourself, and you're you God. You need no help in being God. You need you don't need me to be God. And so Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. As I'm about, I, um, I pray. I pray that you cleanse me. That you cleanse me from right all now. From unrighteousness. That you cleanse me right now from and all right righteousness. In the name of Jesus in Christ the name of, of Nazareth. Jesus Christ of, of Nazareth. Nazareth. And so, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. As I'm about to embark. As I'm about to embark on this life changing. On this life changing situation. situation. Lord, I'm about to enter into this business transaction. I'm about to enter into this business transaction. I pray, Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That you and guide me. Place yes. All these plans. Yes. In your hands, Father. I place my business plan before you. In the name of I Jesus place Christ of Nazareth. My wedding before you. In the name of in Jesus, the name Christ, of of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Remember to use up the stamp here. And I pray, Heavenly Father. Yes. That every opposition of the enemy against these plans. I shut them down right now. I shut them down right in now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. If Use it of is the stamp. Your divine will yes. for me to be a part of this transaction. Okay. I pray so somebody saying, God. God, I want you to open doors. So they might tell you no. So you work on, with that. Work let with me that. Finish prayer first. So Father, I pray. If this is your divine will, open doors. I pray that you'll open the doors of opportunity yes. for me so that this business, God, yes. will be successful yes. in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And if it is my marriage, God, I pray, Almighty God, that if it is your divine will for me to marry this person, yes. I pray, Almighty God, that your blessings will be engulfed in this marriage in the and mighty that you name will of Jesus join Christ us together with cords that can never be broken Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ of and as for my marriage that is on the verge of divorcing God, and if God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth it is being stretched out from 2016 but God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I ask that you fix my marriage and if it is not your will put an end to it right now that the divorce come true in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes. That was one of the requests. Okay. So we wanted to implement everything oh, inside. Okay, okay. All right? Mm -hmm. That's why I went yes. like that. I want people to understand, you need to tell your daddy about it. Now, so what you need to do is very simple. Just like any document, any legal document, it has to have a stamp or a head. Now, the head is the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That is the thing that I want you to understand. The Bible said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and are saved. So the name is where the power is in. The name is what made the document legal in the realm of the spirit. That is why Jesus said anything you ask in my name will be given. And the reason why your prayer is not being answered most of the time is because you're not using the name of Jesus Christ. if it is a case Christ where somebody is saying that you're ill yes. and they need prayer of healing, Yes. Then the same prayer. First applies. thing you need to do is to find out the symptom of the in the, the, the something there, the sickness. So if you're going through the reason why I say this, it's under the same umbrella I know you're thinking about the spirit of infirmities, but yes. some things are different. Like for instance, leukemia. Leukemia, I speak to you right now. Infirmity, yes. I speak to you right now. The it's reason why I sickness. say this. The, no, the reason why I, I say guess this, you call listen, whatever exactly, you're having by exactly. Name. The so reason why I can say exactly, I speak to you. Um, um, headache, I, I speak to you, to you. amen. Pain, I speak amen. To you in the and name for of those Jesus of Christ, you that would have had that strokes, I speak to the spirit of strokes right now in the name of Jesus Christ and then of Nazareth. The Lord said, if you use his word, 
and because it said Lord you said you were bruised for my iniquity yes. you said the chastisement of your peace is upon me and you Isaiah said by your stripes I am healed yes. you said healing is the children's bread and so, so we God, claim healing I right claim now healing right now in the name of, Jesus, the name Christ of, of Jesus Christ of Nazareth you say why it's important that you know God's word that yes. you can use it back upon him we can pray the word amen pray the word but as I said before, remember that the power is all in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. This is why most of us don't get results. Because we're not using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Why do you use the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth? The spirit being that is attacking you is called Jesus and Jesus Christ. Religious spirit. Religious spirit. So, in, without you using the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, these spirits are still going to you be see, entertained and, and they're the, not and going to And as the leave. Lord would say, download in my spirit or bring back to my memory. Yes. You remember when Moses went to Egypt? Yes. And uh, when Moses... We're talking about... Hold on, except, hold, hold on. Yeah. Then if you ever tell them about Egypt, you need uh, to tell them where tell you find them where it. Find so, this is where I will butt in now because if we're going to tell you something, we need to tell you where you find it. In Exodus chapter 7, verse 1 to um to 12. All right. Yes. Okay. So, but for me case, because your phone is about to go off. Let me make case and talk fast. Yes. When Moses went to Egypt to deliver the children of Israel on the, on the assignment of Almighty God. Yes. Moses had opposition. Had, was met by opposition. Pharaoh called the sorcerers and the wise men. One no need to ask the question where did the sorcerers and the wise men got their power from? Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Because when they threw down their rods, it became serpents. Just as a regular Moses man like me and could you could, could not, not have done no. that. So this is a clear indication that, that there was they spiritual were being operating on with spirit. demonic yes. beings. Yes. And the same way when Moses threw down his rod, the Lord demonstrated at that point when Moses' rod ate up all of those was that, listen, I am the Lord thy God. And I and take my authority. Power Take off it's stronger yes. and I'm taking authority over all of these because all of these have to bow down to me. That is why Colossians one that is why Colossians 2 verse 10 said he is the author of all principalities and, and power. Exactly. And Amen. one need to understand that these spirits that were operating in the days of Moses, they are still present in our life. They just evolve. As mankind evolve, demons and devils evolve. As well. And so we must not be fooled. Oh, that was when Jesus was on the earth. Oh, that was when Moses. That's a lie from the pit of hell. The very demons are, they have evolved. They are shapeshifters. Then just transform themselves into yes. our era. Yes. And if they could have manifested themselves like that, what is it saying to me and you today? We need to separate the realms of the spirit. Put Almighty God in charge. How do you do that? By using the Lord said, you whatever is done in my name. Look at the examples of when the disciples started out. In Acts chapter um, 3 verse 6. When they went out, they used the name of Jesus Silver Christ and gold of by none. Nazareth. But they such as I have I given to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Because the lie Christ. where the enemy has told us, oh God knows my heart. But you don't put him in charge. Him know your heart. And him knows say you want a breakthrough. But you didn't tell him, say you didn't put him in charge, you gave the breakthrough. No, you didn't. You didn't. You didn't. And that is why Revelation chapter 3 verse 20 said, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Ah, Until you put me in control, I can't exactly. do anything. So a lot of us not getting answer because we're not asking. And when exactly. we do ask, we ask amiss. We asked amiss. Okay. So my phone is now dying. So Amen. And it is so good to be here. It, it was good. It's an awesome. It was an awesome session <laughs> amen, with amen, the Holy amen, Spirit. Amen, amen. And I pray that the blessings of all my... Oh God Almighty. I don't know why I'm so authoritative at times. But listen. Amen. It is so good to have been here to receive of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I pray that you will hide wisdom 
in your heart. Godly wisdom, godly knowledge and understanding in your heart. Apply it to your daily living. Let it be your daily meal. Amen. Spend time in the words of all God, Almighty God. Know your rules and regulations for you to operate. In the on realm this, of the spirit, in the yes. yes, because whether you want to accept it or not, the spirit realm plays a vital part in our lives. True, true. It does. It governs our lives because our God is a spirit, and our enemy is a spirit. Is a spirit, and they that worship Him must, must worship, worship Him in, in spirit, spirit and, and in, truth. in truth. So we need to ensure that we are not walking according to the Amen. flesh. But we are walking according to the spirit of our So Almighty one God. more thing before we go. Would you would, you guys would have seen that we don't put up any cash up. We don't push up any cash up. We don't ask for tithes and offering. Now the only thing we are gonna ask in return, amen, is that you go to the YouTube channel. That yes. is all we ask. Go and to subscribe. the YouTube channel. For those of you who have not yet subscribed, go to the YouTube channel. Doing so, you subscribe to the channel. And you can love know to go live on exactly YouTube as well. because a lot of individuals yes. who do not use Facebook but they use YouTube. YouTube. So, we this is the only offering that we ask that yes. you go to the YouTube channel and, go live, and you please. go and subscribe. Yes, Amen. So, so that you can help your brother and sister to also hear what yes. you are hearing because we upload the tapes there enough. yes but it would have saved us the trouble from having to go upload when it is already would be have been saved exactly there already so, so god which is blessing you, upon you visit our youtube channel yes it is pierre morley smith pierre morley you. smith amen Children the Children same Children. name on all platform yes. pierre morley smith on um facebook yes. and um TikTok and yes. facebook and um, YouTube, and all right. So, so go to the YouTube week. channel and just give us a platform and next platform. To the, that's why yes. Jesus said, um, "Spread the word." And this yes. is your way of helping us yes. to spread the word. So. God richest God blessing upon you, blessings upon and you. see you again next week, God same willing. time. Amen. Have a wonderful week. Yes. The blessings of Almighty God be upon you, be upon you and, your, and family. your family. In the, in name, the name of, of Jesus. Remember, of listen carefully. We have said a lot. But if you don't remember nothing, remember that the power is all in the name of, of Jesus Christ. Of and read the word of truth. Of God bless his blessing. God blessings. Amen. Amen. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye.